Fame journalist Kara Swisher tackles big tech and Silicon Valley in her new book, which is out today. Kara, of course, covered the dot-com era. She's the author of Burn Book, a tech love story. She's also host of the podcast On with Kara Swisher. Kara, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. It's good to be here. I miss you guys. We miss you, and yeah. we're glad that you're here. We don't usually hear that. Launches. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> uh, in terms of AI, you know, you, you go through, you've gone through your career mm -hmm. in all phases of technology. How does this stack up? Do you think that Important. The, the burst is going to be as big as the burst that we saw before? No, but when you saw the burst, then there's never been a greater acceleration of wealth in the history of the planet, right? Uh, so, you know, what, all these all these industries, whether it's crypto, you're just talking about Bitcoin, they go through these troughs, including EVs right now. But inevitably, that's where it's going. And AI is another major moment in technology. There's several graphical user, you know, the chip itself, the computer, then the laptop, then the graphical user interface was in there. Uh, mobile, social, you know, internet, mobile, social. And this is one of those. And it's a big one. I think what's interesting also about this particular phase is that the main players right now, or who we see as the main players, same ones. are the same ones. They're it's legacy costly. players. Compute is high. Compute yeah. is very expensive, and so it has to be the big players. Guess who also has all the data, which, of course, they lifted from all of us, but that's another topic altogether. Right. <laughs> so, Kara, I love the book. Thank the you. The Burn Book. People, go out the and get one um, here. You know, you have a, don't had, burn it, though. Or they'll burn it and buy another copy. Yeah. I'm fine. Well, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> you know, a lot of this, you know, you had a front row seat for Web 1.0, and, and a lot of us were in the business at the time. And the investment community, I think, for a whole a whole host of reasons were probably kind of late to it, and then they all came to it. And that's, that's right. why we had this bubble sort of thing. Mm -hmm. What would you kind of, and what Mel just said, the big platform companies, they own it, and they've minted these hundred billionaires sort of like, you know, mm -hmm. what would you say to these folks who think that this is it? It's never going to have one of those kind of peaks and troughs, that sort of thing, no. based on your experience. This you know, is a big moment. Years. This is a big moment. I, I'm running away from this is ridiculous. I mean, maybe there'll be, they'll, you'll see too many like insurance AIs or whatever. There'll be too many of them, just like there were in the dot-com. And then things will settle out. And the thing is, we can't imagine what's going to happen yet. Like, when you got the iPhone in 2007, could you think Uber? No. Like, right? You couldn't think of all the many things on it. And so, I think, or when you first saw the Internet, did you know Yahoo? No. And then it wasn't there. These things go like this. And so, I can't, I can imagine some things that can happen. I can imagine assistant. I can imagine uh, videos in your AirPods that then tell you, you know, Dan wants to have lunch, but you know you can't stand him. And I, what do I do? And then, my AI calls his AI and says, oh, Kara is, has strep throat or whatever. Something like that. Like, you could no, of course, I suggest you all the time. Um, but, you know, you can imagine all kinds of things. You just don't know what is going to make a business. Now, right now, it's very costly. Like, when they show these videos off and everyone loses their mind, like Taylor, um, uh, Tyler Perry, it's very expensive to do that right now. So the costs are way too high, and that's... That's because that's and only the big companies can do it. That's why Sam Altman's trying to raise seven trillion dollars. That's not even enough. You so, know. so, Kara, then you, know, you reference Google. Sounds like you think Google's Google and they're not going anywhere yeah, and they've no. got all our data. How about Apple? You know, today, front page, you can see that Apple's scrapping their their electric car odyssey, as it's termed by so some far. other not so far. And that they're taking some of those people and they're repurposing them on their A.I. I mean, yeah. Doesn't sound all that impressive to the folks that are in the middle of the market and been looking for more innovation out of Apple. I, I realize we've done that for years with Apple, That's but I, I'm you curious your view on this. Well, they're not, they haven't been a rapacious information thief as the others have been. They don't keep a lot of data. So it's not necessarily an area. But you can put, you can figure out what they could do with all of this, like assistance. They, they will dominate in assistance and, you know, get things that coordinate together. They will use AI. They don't collect as much data as everybody else. That's right. the issue. Um, Google does, obviously Rapacious. Meta is, does. Rapacious information Fantastic. things. It's a George it's a Georgetown. Georgetown. Yes, it's a Georgetown, Georgetown word. Word. That's nice. correct. No, that's actually, um, Walt Mossberg called them that, Rapacious information thieves. That's what they are. I'm sorry. That's what they've done. They have the data and now they can use it. Apple wasn't one of those companies. As you know, when I interviewed Steve Jobs, which I referenced in the book, he talked about the need for, that was their, that's their thing and therefore they will be slightly behind in that area.